What's up everybody? Today we're replacing an alternator in a Ford Explorer and I'm in my pajamas and it's early and I gotta go to a car meet today. <laughs> Let's go. Step, step one, make sure the new one is the same as the old one. And you gotta get a belt too, because you're taking it off anyway, might as well replace it. I'm gonna get this thing out of the way. There you go, it's out of the way now. Then you're gonna take your hammer beat and ratchet and go down here. And then you're gonna fucking take your tensioner and then you're gonna then you're gonna take it off and then and then then your belt's off and then and then you do that. And then you wanna break off the little thing holding that on because I don't have the right tool to get that off. So, oh oh my fucking glove tore. Cool. And you wanna use the wrong tool and unplug that and then that Hang on. You want to go scrummaging around in your garage to see if you can find something that will fit. So you're going to take the, the... Oh, that'll work. You want to take this bottle opener thing here. There, there we go. And then you want to go ahead and get your 3 8 ratchet. And a 13 millimeter. Okay, we'll just use the quarter inch. And the 13. Some dickheads using my tools and not putting them back. It's me. I want to go ahead and take your open and open and 13 wrench, and then you're gonna do that because someone fucking took my 13 millimeter. Ah, Jesus, that was tight. You want to take your wrench because someone borrowed your fucking ratchet and. didn't put it back you know it was probably me but wow that one was loose come on bitch damn it, I gotta put that down god damn it Ugh. all right then you want to break your bolts loose I just realized after taking the fucking breaking the bolts loose with the 13 millimeter wrench, I just remembered I could use my half inch. It's half inch and 13 millimeter, are basically the same size. Wow. Is that a Saab 900? Well, I just looked and it turns out that the half inch socket that I grabbed is actually my 13 millimeter. So it's actually my fucking half inch socket that's missing. Well, fuck. Then you wanna go ahead and drop your shit on the ground. Oh, but it dropped all the way on the ground, so we're good. And you wanna... Come on, threaded bastard. Come on. Come on. God damn. Get your bolts out. My thumb is my thumb is exposed. I'm going to catch herpagonocyphilades. Fucking longies. Take your bolts out, and take your bolts and put them in the bolt store, then take your alternator, oh, remember, forget there's something else connected. What you definitely want to do is, instead of doing this when your alternator is bolted in the car, you do it when it's just sitting here precariously, and you're taking it here and twisting all the wires. Oh, it came loose. Cool. One thing you definitely want to do when you're replacing an alternator is definitely just don't take the battery out, because what happens is you get little, you get little sparks, you get little sparks start welding out here if you want. You start a little welding company. Looks like the old voltage regulator shit the bed. <laughs> Looks like, ooh, spit. 
All right, and then you want to take this brand new nut, take this shit, and fucking throw it over. Click. Tire, torque, torque to spec. And then, and then you plug, you plug that guy back in, and then you take that, and then you make sure there's no corrosion in there, and then, and then you put it, and you, and you click that in there, and then you put that there, next to your little weld marks there, and then you fucking, that thing have fucking dowels in it? No. Okay, cool. And then you take, uh, Take your bolts and you line up your bolt grenader with your bolt holes. It's hard to do with one hand. Get in there. And you take your other bolts and then you put your other bolts in the bolt holes. God damn. And what you want to do is find out that O'Reilly's cast the fucking alternator wrong so that that bolt and that bolt don't fucking fit together. So you got to fucking take them out and then you got to fucking shimmy the alternator around because this bolt won't start now that this bolt's in. And when this bolt's in, this one fucking this bolt's not in, this bolt doesn't start. Fucking cool. Good job. Fuck you, O'Reilly's. You fucking suck. All right. I definitely didn't cross thread that bolt. But after you get the alternator back on, you want to go ahead and put your belt back on. Yeah. All right, after you get your belt on, you want to put your intake tube back on, and, uh, yeah, you're all done. Oh, shit. Nah, I guess I didn't need that. Then what you want to do is start it and then wait for the lift detector to go away, and then make sure that your fucking, uh, alternator, alternator light is off, because it was indeed the alternator. That's now uh, that's now uh, high or in the middle instead of way down there. But yeah, we're done. <laughs> Time to go to Kent. And yep, that's how you replace an alternator on a 1995 Ford Explorer. Hell yeah! Ooh, it's me. Hell yeah, brother! Wow, is that a Saab 900?